It has to be said that for a comeback fight after a layoff, Angelo Turco looks to be in pretty good shape. Warm up in the back, he looked nice and aggressive, so this could be a very exciting contest. Has the makers of a great fight, yeah. Um, he'll want to be uh, on top of his game to be able to handle Niall. Niall has been in some great sparing, as, you say, as I said earlier, with um, Jesus Alvarez um, and Ray Milet and uh, James Tennyson. So Ray, of course, very, very sharp. sharp, very, very sharp. James Tennyson knocking on the door, great things at the moment. And Niall, I'm sure, is looking at first through that door himself at the moment. Connor open up two fast jabs, connecting quickly. And the three jabs already in. I think Turco expected it to be a little bit more tepid to start, but O'Connor's putting on pressure straight away, looking for that body shot. And he's an action fighter, all action. Turco has kept the, the elbows tight thus far. He's warned for charging in with the head. Didn't bother Niall O'Connor a whole lot. Coming back on the jab. Looks to switch to the body, and again, just by fortune, the right elbow was in the way. Turco was swinging wildly with the right hand and missing there as well. He's lo loading up early. Referee having a little bit of word about Turco coming in low with the head. And Connor now just sitting back, taking a little bit of a look. That was a good right hand over, and in the middle of that combination, your right hand over, snuck in behind the ear. Clever shot. Throws a great right hand nail on the left hook. He's there's not much he can't do, he's a, he's a good fighter. Good defensive awareness there too, placing the hand the head two steps back. It's good in his feet as well. He's a clever guy. Bit of redness there over Niall's right eye, you can see where the heads did come together. And that's why Turco got the warning earlier. There's a bit of redness up on top of his head as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mick Hucknell look alike. And that's why he's the, the perfect fighter for St. Patrick's Grand. <laughs> He's got a great style actually about him. He's uh, got a bit of a unique look like myself and uh, stands out a bit. It's impressive thus far. He's a good personality outside. He is, yeah. Turco here. Good, good he's trying not to be again. over enamored. He's, he's winging shots himself. Maybe just lacking in the finesse, but he's not lacking in heart. He's giving it a go here. Oh, yeah. Kennedy is very accurate good with the shots. Um, Picking the left hook to the body there so well. It's a lovely left hook to the body, yeah. Um, and the right hook the right. inside. Yeah. Turco is weathering this fairly well thus far. I think he looks like a good fighter himself, but uh, as I said, Niall is, uh, in my opinion, he's uh, something quite special. This is going to be over six in a round, so if it extends a little bit, we're going to see what Turco has. And we'll get a chance to check out more of what Niall Kennedy's capable of, but thus far looks very impressive. Kennedy landed good shots there. Turco trying to rip to the body, rolling well. Turco's uh, coming back with some uh, fine right hands himself there. Uh, He's landed, a bit of a gunslinger. A Maybe he doesn't have the finesse that O'Connor has, but he was more the winner for trade letter there. It's a really, really good first round. He lands on a right here as well, and Turco runs it, lands on a right. It was a good one. Good fighter. It's been a pleasing fight so far. It's been a good night of fights, but this one's particularly good. I think this is the best fight so far uh, for me anyway. We've flown through the first round. It's been a great first round. All action from both men. And I think it's only going to increase because you can see both of them, they actually really want it. Turco's not here to go the distance or just to try to, he wants to win this fight, so very enjoyable. It's actually something I've noticed with all the opponents here tonight, uh, they've all come to win, it's been a uh, good They've see. all been game and some of even maybe a little bit outmatched technically on both sides, but I mean realistically everyone's been given a fantastic effort. And I suppose everyone's keen to get out of lockdown, get back to what we do, no, do and love best, so. A few good fights tonight. There are indeed. There are Tuco here. Been coached in the corner. They're very calm and composed. They seem to like what they see. My own sparring partner is up next for the Irish, Craig O'Brien. Yeah, the Iron Craig O'Brien. Looking forward to seeing that fight. He's going to take it on Daniel Fiz was was Lick. That's actually a rematch yep. between those two as well. Craig won on points the last time. Uh, let's hope he can do it and again. And I think they're both keen to get back in there. Right now we're back to the second round for Niall O'Connor and Angelo Turco. Touching gloves, two very sportsmanlike guys, but you know they're going to try and tear each other apart. Turco coming in, trying to be busy with the jab. Turco's a bit dangerous with the head. And Niall throwing out a bit of an elbow. Niall warned at the elbow. 
That was a reaction to the yeah. charge and header Torco. Bit of UFC style tactics there from Niall. Referee here, Jean-Marie Notus. Very, very high level referee and very experienced. Nothing needed. Both guys just want to fight. They don't want to get involved in any messy stuff. Good counter right hand there from Niall O'Connor. Torco again lunging forward. Nice left hook lead to the body. Very impressive. Now LCG targeted the body now almost exclusively this round. And it sinks a fantastic left hook straight to the midsection. It's a great fight back for Niall O'Connor. Um, not an opponent to fall over. Turco is there to win as well and he's fighting back. It's, it's a good work up for Niall. Turco here playing his part as well, really making up a good account for himself. Ooh, fuck. Heads coming together Crash desperately there, close yeah. there. Turco landed a left hand over the top there, but it was thrown mostly hope. Niall slipping inside, heads come very close again. Turco complaining this time. Sash says that's about three times now they've been coming together. Referee three times. taking issue with the. Uh, <laughs> Good right hand from Niall O'Connor the, there. The corner man. Um, I don't Connor know. picked some really nice shots. I, I don't know if uh, Turco has been in the ring much throughout the pandemic, but Niall O'Connor has been out for a while. No, it's quite a hot pace in there. It is indeed. O'Connor picks you picking the cleaner shots. Turco is living off scraps, but he seems happy to do so, and he's really making a good go of it. The sparring Niles been doing though will stand to him, and I'm sure he'll be okay for to go the distance at a, a continuously hot pace. A little bit of a stalemate there. O'Connor warned to keep the head up. Niall is cut. Oh, to the top left of the head there, I think, from the Kasha heads. See a bit of blood trickling down See underneath the, uh, there, the right, yeah. Clearly visible there now on the left-hand side. See it there, yeah. Turco seems to spot it now too. Has the right hand lowered as if he's going to wink for it. No, it's not a cut that's going to trouble him too much anyway. I mean, it's not going to impair his vision. O'Connor doing whatever he can here to draw reaction. Fainting, sticking out the tongue. Using the eyes, the Turco back to the ropes. That's quite the character, as I said. Turco heard the knock for the 10 seconds and decided to throw absolutely everything. Nile evading well, and both men laugh. They're sharing the laugh and the nice touch of gloves. And the push gloves. The end for of the such round. a good fight, it's great to see two guys respect each other that way. Brilliant, yeah. Of course, Mike, you're not shy of a bit of banter yourself outside the ring. You know, to share words with uh, some of the opponents before, but it's all respectful <laughs> in there, isn't it? Ah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> trying to get the psychological edge, and uh, after when everything's done and dusted, uh, just obviously shake hands and that's it. You know, water under the bridge, that's it. And that's something that has been funny during this pandemic, too. Everything's been muted. All boxing, there hasn't really been much talk, so it's difficult to know where any opponent is right now. And we've seen that tonight that some guys are in great shape, some guys maybe could do a little better. Yeah. It's, 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 it's difficult to keep a level playing field. But Niall has obviously been very motivated. Often 18, and he's in fantastic shape here. Yeah, he's been out of the ring for quite some time. I don't know, it's about two years. Is that now? Uh, 2018, December, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah geez. Yeah, over, over the two years then. Yeah. And a very game opponent here in Angelo Turco. Oh, he is, yeah. Coming up to the guard nice and tight. What I found interesting there is now he's taking a step back to try and avoid O'Connor's punches, which wasn't the case earlier. So O'Connor obviously gained his respect. And Turco moving a little bit more. His jab failed for find home there. Had a little bit of success there. O'Connor is reducing the pace maybe ever so slightly, looking for quality shots over quantity. Turco probe with the left hand, and O'Connor comes back with a really tight left hook counter. Nice right as well before it. Connor trying to left hook to the body again, fainting with it. He lives at the box and now he studies all the great fighters as well, and uh, he's always learning and practicing. And takes a nice jab there. Marco throwing a sneaky right up cut, long on the break there, and that's where you just worry about Daniel whether he's been out for a little while. Is he going to get caught with something silly? 
is going to come a little bit unhinged as the fight goes on, but he seems to be holding together right now. Head movement working well for him. Turco's no fool himself. He's a, he has a lot of punches in the book himself. Uppercuts, hooks. He's good. Good fighter. <laughs> Referee broke no part there and maybe a little bit fortunate for Turco because Niall had to jump on him. Then some good shots to weigh in. And they exchange again. Both men are taking uh, the shots well from their opponents. No, no one seems to be really hurt yet. I think uh, Turco might have been hurt with a left hook to the body in the first round, right? But uh, he's recovered well. And, uh, no, it's an impressive contest. Fight. Nice and evenly matched. It's beneficial to both guys. And this is a real fight, could go either way. Now, for me, Nile is picking the better shots. Good right hook, or good straight right by uh, Turco there again. Nile digging a right, right uppercut to the body. Landing the lead right there at times, Turco. Turco's a little bit unorthodox, so it's it's difficult to see where, where it's a lot of his punches coming from. I just said Niall there, he's kind of a student of the game, he's kind of used to technical boxing and things being not generic but by the book and that's why maybe Turco is landing a few shots because yeah, he's, he's not following any of the ordinary textbook. He's not like a Niall's three sparring partners at the moment, uh, so he's a bit he's not like those at all. So he's throwing punch from all sorts of angles and that was a nice upright right upright inside the body from area. Niall. Fantastic punch. The only danger was the heads came close, but the right upcut of the body was fantastic. Turco barraging forward with the those left body, shoulder. Those body punches that Niall are landing, they're, they're an investment for the rest of the fight, I think. Uh, Agreed. And with 16 hold. rounds, there is a good stretch for them to go. Brave decision for Niall to come back to a six-round fight instead of a four. It is, yeah. He, but he's, you know, he's been in the gym sparring ferocious rounds. Like, geez, when he's watching, when he's when I'm watching him sparring with a uh, tennis in there, Six rounds, who will be absolutely going at it. It's type popcorn time, you know, the very, very entertaining spares. And James Tennyson is a pretty supreme athlete. Very good guy from Belfast. Uh, yeah, he's was in the same challenger. I was in the Kevin same Farmer. stable as him for quite some time, and I knew that he was yeah. incredibly disciplined, always super fit. So if Niall share that sort of company, you know he's in good, good shape. With Tony Dunlap above, yeah. I thought Tony was going to be here this weekend, actually. I haven't seen him around. Tony from the Cronk Gym. Tony's such a legend of a trainer that it's very easy to forget that he was a damn fine boxer himself. Yeah. He's almost the KO highlight reel of yeah. Tony fighting back in his amateur days. Very impressive. <laughs> Niall, Niall very eager to get off his stool there for the fourth round, straight out to the middle. He's very Which shows enthusiastic initiative. and eager fighter. He has a lovely jab. He loves the war, he's got a great jab. He's He's, he's got every punch in the book now, though. And Turco trying something a little bit different here, trying to force a stalemate, maybe, or catch a good counter. Yeah, I think he might be uh, starting to tire, but it's been an intense pace, and uh, he doesn't look in as good a shape as Niall. Um, no, and you can see you can see the red marks around the, the shoulders, the arms, the upper back. He's taken quite a number of body shots, well, heavy body shots, so he could be uh, feeling they the pace. They will take the call. He still looks determined. He's not. He hasn't given up the ghost. But no, this might been. be the case for O'Connor to take control. O'Connor fainting there. A wry grin as Turco falls for it. He's trying to antagonise him and lure him in, I think. And this is showing Niall maturing as a fighter now too, as he drops the pace, knowing that he's into the second half, picking quality shots over the quantity. He's not forcing things. He knows he's in the driving seat and he's not chasing it right now. That's for Turco to do and hopefully for Niall to create an opportunity through a mistake. Niall <laughs> doing a bit of talking in there. Jean-Marie having a word there about Niall talking, but... Yeah, something I've noticed that they don't really like that over here, uh, the, the fighters talking. and No, very much into the sportsmanship and respect side of the game over here. Honest, not I'm that we're not in Ireland, but you know, we do like to have a bit I'm of fun. I would like to agree with the refs. You know, I don't, I don't like it myself. And now he gets copper right. And that was really a fantastic level. Himself. Another oh. fantastic right hand by Niall. But I liked right. what it too was. Right. He didn't jump on him just because he landed a good shot. He waited to see what happened. And sure yeah. enough, Turco was right back in the game. It was a good right, but it didn't do too much damage to Turco. He took it well. Oh, whoa, whoa, now he's loading <laughs> up and swinging. He'll really load it up there. He had a little bit of an exasperated side himself afterwards. He knew that maybe it was a, it was a hope. 
trying to turn the shoulders away from Turco. Turco has to be respected. He's a risky guy here, and he's he's sticking to his task. A very animated sort of a exclamation there coming from the Turco corner. I'm not sure what they were exclaiming about, but they're having a bit, little bit of a bad luck. They're winding each other up there. <laughs> the Turco and O'Connor. Both guys with the exaggerated fade. And Turco was just kind of hitting anything he could there. Back of the head, the shoulders. And again, just over the ear. This time it's Niall Kennedy gets the... Oh. Or sorry, Niall O'Connor. Clipped in the back of the head there with a punch. With a swing and right. Bit of a wild round. We're in for an exciting touch. final two rounds. Yeah. When, they, when they touched gloves there, I noticed O'Connor uh, wasn't uh, eager to <laughs> touch gloves. Um. I was very impressed that Turco took some of the shots there that time. Now look, Hunter landed some uh, fantastic right hands. Yeah, he's Turco seems to be tough, man. The punches don't really seem to be bothering him, to be quite honest. Um. Niall punches hard. And Which is probably what Niall wanted, though. He didn't want to come back tonight and blow out in one single round. It wasn't going to do him much good, but have been out now for since 2018. That's what he needs, is rounds. And no, it's, it's a great fight for him because I believe there's rounds. talks in the pipeline for him for um, a more significant fight after this. Uh, against another undefeated fighter like himself. Uh, be terrific. So this fight is ideal for him now. Not somebody just going to fall over and around. He's, he's getting good work in there tonight. It's just what he needs. It's a great workout. You see, there's slimy the blood that was coming from his his hairline that seems to be uh, clattered up now as such. The afro is holding it well. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo Turco here too. Deserves credit. He's took about his task. He's coming forward. There's, there's no quit in him. He's not as see. lively as he was though in the, the beginning of the fight. No, and he's certainly frustrated. He knows that just because he throws a punch, he's got no guarantee he's going to land. A uh, big, lovely Walker. jab. He looks good on the right, right for the body. Great jab. He should probably use it a bit more, I think. It's an unorthodox jab, too, that Niall is throwing. It's thrown kind of from outside the shoulder, which is nice, instead of kind of turning it all the way over. See the uh, Liam Joseph from Broader on Niall's uh, shorts there. That's his late nephew there. Uh, he, he, he wanted to I did say that one of his big inspirations coming back was to pay tribute to his his nephew. Now he'll turn it up the pressure now again. Turn it on the heat. Turco, look, is Connor it a bit tired to me? he looks a bit tired. Turco being warned to keep the head up. Reach with the right hands. Now he evading those nicely. Slip inside the left uppercut there that time. I think if Niall uh, had the ring rust and been over two years, I think he would probably be more intense and could possibly force the stoppage. He might yet, but I'm not sure. He has the but then he has the purpose of this. That's why he travelled over here to the Shawa Spiro Dome was to shake off the rust and brave decision to take the six round fight and against the game guy like Turco. So. He's, he's doing well for a guy that's been out so long. He's, he's looking good. That's true. Oh. And the left hook outside there. Not a whole pile of power behind this, but he's topping up the activity level. Evading Angelo Turco's shots there with absolute ease. Comes back with nice right of the body. He practices a lot. He's all in the gym there, Connery. He practices slipping and countering. He's, he's very oh, good. Oh, that's a good. Left hook counter again. He's obviously a far, far inex less experienced than uh, Canelo, but uh, that's what I say. He's like uh, a young Canelo, you know, a smaller version. As, as yeah. <laughs> Turn and with the left hook. Loading up on his shots a little bit now, too. Maybe trying to rush himself. Missed a couple, which hasn't been his practice throughout this fight. I think Turco is glad to see his corner at the end of that round. I think uh, it's fair to say Niles after winning every round so far. I think that's true. 
Might be feeling the pace now a small bit. Let's Back of the corner looking for a little bit of re re respite. Turco too certainly feeling the effects now. You can see the Vaseline being applied to his face. Yeah. Looking a bit reddened up all right. They both are to be fair. Pascal's putting a bit of Vaseline on it. Well it has been a physical result. fight. They, they haven't been shy of getting each other's faces so bumps and bruises are bound to happen. Pretty, pretty high intensity in there to be fair. Yeah. And it must be said, it's one of the better fights from tonight. It has been one of the most enjoyable of the whole yeah, night. I think it's, it's been the best class fight, I think, between the two guys. <laughs> Angelo Turco, straight out, looking to cause pressure, working head and body. Niall tucking up, Niall slipping and rolling. Niall will... Um, I've seen him with tennis and do this and he'll soak it up and he'll, he'll come back with his own, I'm sure. And of course, it's not amateur boxing. This is not scored in the same points method. It's all about the long distance, the long haul and Conor looks prepared. He had a fantastic jab there and he's really got Angelo Turco. That's the first time I've seen a bit of distress since the first round from Turco. Maybe he came out a little bit too energetic. He's sapped now. And Niall O'Connor is pushing forward, looking to exploit that. You know, Niall only has five pro fights, but he's uh, like a guy with a lot more experience he exudes than what he actually has. As he's always in the gym sparring with quality fighters. And uh, he's like he's like a guy, he looks like a guy to me with 15, 16 fights, pro fights, you know. He's Very composed. Very composed. He's got all the moves. Just uh, uh, And that's why Turco deserves darkness. credit too. He's not, he's not fading, fading away from this sort of... Uh, challenge he's giving it his best goal it's a bit different as you know when you're in there fighting rather than sparring but um it's good good round tonight tonight he's going to be an even better fighter coming out of this yeah you get the bit of ring ring attention off. for an irish title yeah when you fight with the small gloves and the shorts and you know, no top on or whatever i am um, just get get used to it again I'd like to see now for the Irish title, definitely, yeah. He's certainly a big prospect. I think he can go um, further than Irish champion as well. I, I mean, thank you, thank you. Oh, good left hook. Nice left hook. I like what Niall's composure. He doesn't get overexcited and uh, he's really start to load up. He kind of, he's really calculated the way he goes about his business. He's very calm and calculated, yeah. Very good. And Turco showing a bit of his defensive prowess. Leaning back from a couple of shots, wrapping O'Connor up and turning him. Yeah, he's not a bad fighter at all himself, I was saying that earlier. <laughs> Tries a big overhand right, easily taking him the glove and Isle. Isle shifting out to his right hand, one left hook to the body, and lands another left hook to the body there. I think that's a wise investment because the body shots didn't seem to bother Turk early. Yep. They've certainly staffed him. That was a fantastic left hook. He hurt him with that one there. Turco trying his best to hide it, but you can hear his breathing has deepened. Now he tries another left for the body, and it lands pretty well. There was a high risk move, would have paid off for him. Both guys taking a stroll. Turco showboarding a little bit. Very enjoyable contest. Well done by both guys. I think there's uh, no dispute in who it was. I, I, I scored it 60 to 54 myself. I think that O'Connor took the fight easily. Um, just that Turk, however, went well up my estimation, really stuck to his task, he didn't quit. He came to win. I yeah. don't think it worked out for him tonight, but I wouldn't mind seeing him fight again. Niall O'Connor certainly, I think, he'll be pushing on towards an Irish title, certainly farther. Niall O'Connor's next gig is um, he actually brought a guitar with him for the, um, the entertainment later. He does a bit of Luke Kelly, a bit of entertainment for Luke Kelly, very good. Myself and uh, Packy and the lads. So he's kind of halfway between Canelo and Luke Kelly. Yeah. But that makes sense with the hair. Yeah, oh yeah. He, he kind of goes, well, look, he does a bit of part time work. He's an apprentice electrician. He does a bit of part time work as well um, as Luke Kelly impersonator. <laughs> or he's actually very good at
You got to keep the troops in the tent, man. Very true. Turco, full of conversation and confidence after the fight. You can see he is tired, though. He has, he has felt yeah, that. Mark Under is a uh, right eye there as well. He knows he's been in a fight for sure. Yeah, I think they both do. Nice show of respect, too. Goodness, now O'Connor comes away with the decision. However, certainly a bit of a problem with the scorecards there. You know, despite very, the fact that we had to respect Angelo Turco, that wasn't a close contest in terms of scoring. So a split decision was not. I, th I thought uh, he won every round, that guy. I thought he did. 60-54. Thankfully, now O'Connor comes away with the win. Vladian Draginski. Draginski. 